volume has been a challenge recently. Um, we had a local hospital closed down for approximately two years due to a fire, so we absorbed all their patients. I'm not sure that our department could have kept up and still keep up with the volume that we do without these new scanners. The reconstruction times would have been way too slow. We average approximately 300 to 350 CAT scans per day. Recently, about two weeks ago, we maxed out at 394 in our organization. If we still had a VCT in our department, we would not be able to have any of these new protocols or new advanced scannings that we're doing because the time of the reconstructions would have taken too long. The machine didn't hold as much data as it does now. I used to have to clear patient raw data within a day off the VCTs. I can keep them on Apex platform for over a week now. So just the amount of data that it's been able to hold allows us to go back and make any additional changes that we need for much more time than the VCTs did. The VCTs also, and it could be because ours was getting old, it broke down a lot. The downtime on that was was getting to the point where we did have an end-of-life scanner. We called her Nana. We made the decision to change out the VCT in the ED and put the Apex in. We have a nickname for our Apex. When it first got here and we were able to see that we could do something in hyperdrive at 0.35 seconds or cardiac in 0.28 seconds, everybody was like, this thing is like a rocket. So we started calling it Apollo, the rocket ship. <laughs>